Hey guys, this is Aiden, and in today's tutorial, I'm going to be showing you a simple tune shader that I ended up creating from watching a few tutorials from Lunar Binary and NetMix Games, and with some of my own brain included into it. It's a very nice tune shader. It supports rim lighting, specular lighting, custom lighting, and also can cast and receive shadows. So honestly, I don't really have any complaints about the shader whatsoever. And combine it with a good amount of post-processing, it just looks marvelous. The effect was achieved using the Unity's Universal Render Pipeline and Shader Graph. No scriptable coatings or any type of scriptable shading was included, so I think it's pretty simple and anyone can do it. Even dumb people like me were able to pull this trick off, so I think it's pretty simple for like literally anyone to do it. Just with some right guide and, you know, just with some dedication, I think you can even do it yourself. And if you're lazy like me, I would just leave the project link in the description so you can just download it. So first I decided to take the custom lighting.hls as they said and created a file for it inside of my Unity. And I did not use uh, VS, VS Code or VA, like um, Microsoft Visual Studio for this. I instead decided to use Notepad because there was no real coding included. So all I had to do is just copy pasting the main code and just like modify it a few times. So yeah, that's all there is there was to it. Afterwards I copied the code from custom lighting.hls and pasted it into my own file and this is where I faced the main problem. The issue was that this code was written for Unity 2019 and I was using Unity 2020. At first I thought this wasn't going to be a problem but then when I created my unlit shader graph, opened it up and that's a really big ball. And then as soon as I decided to create a custom function instead of the shader graph and wanted to assign it with my custom lighting.hls file. I got thrown with a fucking error. Now, I did got thrown with this error before when I was trying out the NetMix games tune shader, but I was able to fix that by watching some of the comment section's comments and ended up realizing that I might be able to do the same thing here, but I was wrong and it just didn't work at all. I tried my best trying to use it on Unity 2020, but it just didn't work at all, so I decided to quit, but then I just didn't, and instead of that, I <laughs> downloaded the Unity 2019 just for this fucking shit. After that, I got the diffuse lighting and the smooth step nodes connected with each other, and got the basic shading of two ramp shading stuff got working on my shader, and also got the custom lighting.hls working on my shader. Hmm, so far so good, huh? Since I followed along the tutorial, I'm not gonna be showing you every single thing. If you wanna watch, just go watch the original video. But I will be covering a issue that was not mentioned in the actual t tutorial, so I'm gonna try my best to fix it. So if you re have followed the tutorial, you'll realize that the model that applied the shader on has no shadow, and no shadow equals no fun. So I decided to peek around the uh, custom lighting.hls and tried my best to fix it but I just couldn't get it to work. I also saw some of the other examples and got some inspiration from them. Also watched the NetMix games tutorial where he used this keyword to get the shadow effects working but I just couldn't get anything to work whatsoever. However, I did get it to work by switching the shadow intenuation function for, like from the custom lighting HLS and also made it so that it receives light from the shadow sampling data rather than going for the actual a light in the scene that was the directional light itself. I'm pretty bad at explaining this so I won't be able to explain it but just so you know it works and the shader code and the entire project will be linked in the description. So yeah now we got shadows and it looks good but there was a problem it doesn't look good it looks ugly like your mom but you know even your mom would look good if we just give her a little touch of makeup so I decided to tweak some settings here and there from the main light and the universal render pipelines asset and after that, I did got it to work just just a little bit, and I think how it turned out didn't really look that bad. I changed the shadow cascades to four from the Universal Render Pipeline uh, pipeline asset, and did got some other things changed up from just like this. If you want to make it look good, you better follow my settings, or like I said before, the project's entire thing is in the description, just go for that. So yeah, I think it turned out pretty good with the things that I have done and it looks very nice and I did turn off shadow casting for some of the objects off such as the hair itself just to give it a little bit like nicer look. After that, I for some reason gone out of my way and created a simple script for camera rotation around the object so that I can just simply, you know, sort of flex around with the shader that I just created. I mean, watching someone else's tutorial, but still, I did make it myself. 
and there you go i'm pretty happy with how this shader turned out and i didn't think i was able to pull this off but it did work and it just works but it doesn't work on unity 2020 so you're gonna have to use unity 2019 but if you can make the custom lighting.hls work on unity 2020 then you might be able to use the same the same effect on unity 2020 as well so yeah thanks for watching